Hi, this is Kendrick Johnson with worldmedicalschool.org. We're going to have a quick discussion about opiate use in chronic pain. This is a controversial topic, and we're just going to scratch the surface of it, but I wanted to cover some of the basic points. Some of the big questions about opiate use in chronic pain are the potential for abuse. That's the one that we hear the most about. Um, the effectiveness is still in question, and I just want to briefly mention some of the research that's happened and uh, the guidelines or the lack thereof uh, that I found in my quick search of the topic. So the big problem is a lack of evidence in figuring out how big of a problem uh, abuse is as a direct, direct result of use in chronic pain treatment. So um, there is a, a report that says 70% uh, of abusers got uh, drugs illicitly um, and only 20% got them from a prescription. I don't know where the other 10% went in there. I didn't track that down. But the, but the idea behind this is that most of the people who are abusing the drug are not getting prescribed from their doctor. So um, then we do have you know, 20% that are getting a prescription uh, and are abusing it, uh, but most of the people that we are appropriately prescribing uh, pain medications are not uh, abusing it according to the criteria used in this uh, SAMHSA report. So uh, 3.1 million persons aged 12 or older used an illicit drug for the first time within the past 12 months. Um, and 17% of those uh, were pain medications. Um, so th the idea here is that opiate um, addicts and pain patients are largely separate populations, and opiate addiction due to appropriate medical management pain of pain is rare. So, and then a note on the potential of abuse. Apparently, um, as they've studied both in animals and in humans, uh, there's less reward for morphine in the presence of ongoing pain. So basically, if you have chronic pain, you're less likely to become addicted to it because the reward is less. Uh, it sounds to me like it kind of just cancels out the pain and so you don't get to the same reward state that you would if you were using it in the absence of chronic pain. Effectiveness is a pretty shady area. Basically, from what I read, there's there's no good uh, studies that show that uh, opiates are effective in managing long-term pain. Uh, as far as short-term pain can, is concerned, I don't think there's any controversy. I think that, uh, in general, we accept that... Uh, Opiates are, are effective and safe in short-term management of pain, but the studies are lacking in longer uh, management. Some animal studies have shown that uh, chronic uh, use of opiates can create a state of hyperalgesia, which you know would mean that we're basically making it so we have uh, more receptors to pain uh, because we are using the drugs for so long. So that would make you know management pretty complicated uh, if that is the case in humans as we, we have shown in animals. So one of the articles that I read that I thought was uh, an educational article was The Doctor's Dilemma, Opiate Analgesics in Chronic Pain. It would be one worth looking up. There's also a good resource that I found um, at the link on the screen here. Uh, the government of Washington put out an opiate guideline that um, the, the main guidelines in there uh, reference how much use of opiates um, could be tolerated in a clinical setting before you refer to pain management. Um, and one of the one of the things I saw was 120 milligrams of hydrocodone was one of those levels where uh, you should probably 
uh, refer it to somebody else if you're not managing the pain under that kind of a dosage. Um, a couple other articles worth reading listed below. If you uh, want to help out with the project, please comment below and help us to uh, further refine the subject here. And um, if you want to get involved, please go to worldmedicalschool.org backslash volunteer. Thanks.